everybody. <clears throat> God damn it. Everybody. Whiskey here. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm uh, going to give you a quick little breakdown of team speak and salty chat for the server. want to make sure that, you know, I know a lot of folks are well versed in salty chat and team speak and others aren't. So I want to make sure this video is all inclusive. Even those that, uh, that uh, you know, maybe haven't used it in a long time. This is a good little brief reminder on what you can do and, and kind of brush you up on your skills. Make sure you had the right plugins installed and stuff of that nature, all right? So first thing you're going to do is if you look in our text box in the Discord, there'll be two download links. One will be for TeamSpeak, one will be for Salty Chat. First thing you're going to do is uh, download TeamSpeak. Uh, when you do, you'll end up with uh, this screen here um, that'll pop up. Now, what you'll want is to go into your bookmarks section and go to manage bookmarks. As you can see, I already have Yellowstone RP here. But simple enough, go into your bookmarks section and uh, there is a go advanced button. It'll, be, it'll look like this, but go advanced. All right. When you go there, it's going to give you some options, right? You'll be able to put the bookmark name of the server, Yellowstone RP. Uh, of course, your name and game. So if you have a couple, just whichever one you want to put there. You can do a slash with two names, depending on who you're role playing and what pair of boots you're on. Um, as well as uh, the sound pack here is the most important. If you don't have this on deactivated, every time somebody joins a channel, you'll hear user joined, user switched, user disconnected. Not, I'm telling you, it's just just leave it on deactivated, okay? Just trust me when I say that. Um, default channel will be one. That's our lobby, which I'll show you here in a second. Once you join and you click on Yellowstone, which I'll show you how to get there, you don't have to do anything else. Once you enter the game, the game will automatically move you down to channel two, which is our in-game RP channel. Uh, so just make sure you follow these settings first here. Uh, click apply and okay. When you go to your connections, when you first connect, all you got to do is type in Yellowstone RP and connect. Um, no server password, nothing like that, uh, because nobody can actually get into the RP server unless they're in the game. Um, there will be no speaking permissions allowed in the lobby, so there's no OOC lobbies and nothing like that of that aspect. But, um, again, it's just Yellowstone RP, how I have it there. Um, you'll click connect. It'll automatically place you in the lobby. And again, the best part about that bookmark that we spoke on earlier was that uh, you don't have to worry about keep changing your name over and over again, okay? Uh, with Salty Chat, we'll give you the download. Make sure it's always 3.11. Uh, do not get a upgraded version unless we tell you to get an upgraded version. There's no secret behind it. I have to change that version in the code uh, in the game, so it's going to need to at least be 3.11 uh, in an effort to move forward. So we'll, of course, have that download link in the Discord, how to speak or how to talk uh, channel as well. Now, if you're new to TeamSpeak, you can Google YouTube all you like, but the, the simplest stuff here uh, is go into Tools and into Options. When you get into Options, you'll see Add-ons. You'll know you're on the right um, Salty Chat, if you see here, version 3.11, and it's enabled. Uh, and lastly is going to be your uh, hotkeys, right? Uh, people like to use N. I'm a big side mouse button. Uh, so you'll go into options. Uh, of course, make sure your playback and all that is correct. So you have the right playback device. You have the right capture device. Set your settings up however you like. You can begin a test. You can hear yourself and kind of play with the settings however you feel. Uh, and the hotkeys, again, the only one I have is push to talk. Uh, and I'll remove this one just so you can see how I do it. Uh, let's see. So we'll just go into add. This is while you're pressing it, right? So on key down, push to talk default. And you're going to want to go to no hotkey assigned. Press the key you want, which is my side mouse button. Click OK. And it's good to go. So you'll be able to speak using that. Um, mute buttons are the same if you want to do a mute button or whatever, but to me, push to talk is a mute button because I just, I won't talk to you. But if you have things set up like push to talk and discord and stuff of that nature, you'll be all right. You don't have to worry about anything. So 
that's the biggest stuff here. Of course, anything else you guys need help for on uh, TeamSpeak, there's a ton of YouTube stuff out there. But this should cover the basics for you. Um, again, uh, whenever you go to join connections, once you set up that bookmark, Yellow Sun RP will automatically be there and it'll automatically shove you in the lobby. Don't have to do anything else. As soon as you log in, it's going to bring you right on down so you're good to go. Okay. Now, um, for instance, this doesn't work or you get an error or you get a DNS error. Um, there is a CFX DNS that is sometimes needed for folks, and I'll show you how to get through that. If you go into your settings tab um, and you go to network and internet, now of course your layout may be different than mine, um, but I just go to uh, Ethernet and I go to change adapter options. Yours might be advanced network options, etc. But it should bring you to a screen that looks like this. It'll be your network connections. You go to control panel, network and internet, network connections. But go to the actual one you're using. As you can see, these two are disabled. And this is just a different identifier. So right click on it. Click on properties. And you'll go down to the one that is the I, uh, TCP IPv4. IPv4 is what you want. You'll right click on it. Or I'm sorry. You'll go down here to properties. And as you see here... Use the following DNS server addresses, 8888, and on the alternate DNS server, 8844, if it's giving you a problem. I set mine up like that to begin with, just so I don't have to worry about problems, so I would you know, advise you guys to do the same. However, it's your life. Live it however you want to, right? Uh, click OK, close, and you're good to go. Now, whenever you download Salty Chat, best part about it is it's going to automatically update it's going to tell you to restart your team speak. Um, so once you do all the bookmark stuff, etc., and then you go to download Salty Chat, it'll automatically show you that you have Salty Chat enabled uh, in your plugins page. Other than that, you're good to go. You can come in, start RPM, and uh, have a great time. Any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to make a ticket. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. See y'all.